Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x power of 3 minus x power of 2 is equal to 4. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we'll take this 4 into the left side. So it will be this, which is x power of 3 minus x power of 2. This to take to this side, it will be minus 4 is equal to 0. Then, from this cubic equation, to get one of the value of x or one of the root of x, we'll solve by using trial and error method. So by trial and error method, so as to get x, this cubic equation is equal to 0, we'll start, we'll start to test by x is equal to 1. So we'll substitute 1 into this cubic equation if it will give 0. So it will be 1 power of 3 is 1, then minus 1 power of 2 is 1, then minus this 4. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 4 is negative 4 which is not equal to this 0. So x is not, x is 1, is not of the, is not one of the, is not the value of this cubic equation. Then we test by x is equal to 2. So we'll substitute 2 into this cubic equation, it will be 2 power of 3 is 8. Then minus 2 power of 2 is 4. Then minus this 4, is equal to 8 minus 4 is 4 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 so it is true x is equal to 2 is one of the valid root or one of the one of the value of x into in this cubic equation now to find the other values of x from this x is equal to 2 we'll solve by using synthetic division so for x is equal to 2, we write here 2. Then in this cubic equation, coefficient of x power of 3 is 1. So we we'll drop here 1. Coefficient of x square is negative 1. Here negative 1. Coefficient of x, which is not here, it is 0. And the constant is negative 4. Then by synthetic division, here we'll draw a line. Then we we'll drop this 1 here. Then 2 times 1, it is 2. Negative 1 plus 2, or 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So this 0 is the remainder. So if 0 is the remainder, then it is true that 1 of the root is equal to 2. Now from this 2, we'll take 2 to this side, so it will be x minus 2. So x minus 2 is the linear equation. Then times this cubic equation, this quadratic equation, coefficient of x square is 1, so it will be x square. And this coefficient of x is 1, so it will be plus x. And the constant is 2, so it will be plus 2 bracket then is equal to 0 because this linear equation times this quadratic equation it is this cubic equation then in the next step from here this cubic this quadratic equation to find the other values of x from this cubic equation which is x square plus x plus 2 is equal to 0 we'll solve this by using quadratic formula now from quadratic formula to find the value of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then it will be x is equal to negative b, it is coefficient of x which is 1, so negative 1 plus or minus square root of b square, it will be 1 square, then minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2 then over 2 times a a is 1 then it will be x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1 negative 4 times 1 times 2 is negative 8 then over this times this is 2 then it will be x is equal to 
negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 8 is negative 7, then over 2. Then it will be x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 7 is same as square root of 7, then times square root of negative 1, which is i, then over 2. Then from here we have two solutions because of plus or minus. Therefore, the first value of x is equal to this, which is 2, which is a real solution or real number is 2. And the second value of x is equal to this, which is a complex number, negative 1, negative 1 plus square root of 7i over 2. So negative 1 plus square root of 7i over 2. And the third value of x is equal to, for this negative, it will be negative 1 minus square root of 7i over 2. Negative 1 minus square root of 7i over 2. So these are all the values of x in this our problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.